pole vault. The ultimate desired outcome of the airstrike acrobatic pole vault system is to consistently apply the athlete's optimum vertical extension capability at the instant of each strike. The safest path to accomplishing this objective is to begin mastering the application of flexible competition vaulting poles by striking the competition pole's tip into the back of the plant box while the vaulter's trailing foot is still in contact with the ground. This transitory ground strike technique eliminates the jump stage because the execution of horizontal flex pole rotation must commence immediately at the instant of strike. The eventual application of the jump and float into the air will naturally occur whenever the vaulter's trailing foot has ascended above the horizontal ground plane to any degree prior to the strike of the flexible competition pole's tip. Regardless, whether the strike occurs when the vaulter is in the air or on the ground, the flexible competition pole's bottom tip impacting the back wall of the plant box must always instantly trigger the horizontal flex pole rotation process. To begin cautiously advancing the vertical extension apex at the moment of strike, the vaulter must move farther away from the back wall of the plant box in very gradual increments. This incremental progression facilitates greater odds of successful executions at each increased level of individual vertical extension apex objectives. This elementary process simply repeats itself with the purpose of ultimately arriving at the jump point that achieves the athlete's optimum vertical extension result at the instant the pole tip strikes. From this stage forward, the athlete continues applying incrementally controlled gradual increases in pole length combined with pole tension to achieve higher and safer results than ever possible using senseless, archaic, lethal, traditional pole vault methods. Whenever a flexible competition vaulting pole is properly cocked according to the pole manufacturer's design specifications, the pole tips will be aligned and over end, extending vertically from the horizontal ground plane. Viewed from the camera angle in this video, when properly loaded and cocked, the pole's bend appears very similar to the shape of an upside-down capital letter J. Airstrike's preparatory training system avails the safest practical transition for any future application of proven deadly flexible competition poles. It is a tragic fact that, without airstrike's safer pole vault methods, flexible competition poles are unnecessarily lethal. Airstrike's preparatory training system avails the safest practical transition for any future application of proven deadly flexible competition poles. Horizontal flex pole rotation is the only method possible in which athletes can effectively apply controlled horizontal and gravitational forces to properly load flexible competition vaulting poles according to their manufacturer's design specifications. Once mastered, horizontal flex pole rotation can be applied whether the strike occurs while the vaulter is still on the ground or the vaulter is in the air. Pole Vault Warning to All Athletes Horizontal flex pole rotation principles must be mastered applying flexible training poles constructed as uniform shafts. Visit us at howtopolevault.com and for further in-depth airstrike pole vault information, please subscribe to our How to Pole Vault YouTube channel.